Ollie, a really good start to 2024 and um, back-to-back wins. Uh, it's been a positive beginning, hasn't it? Yeah, really positive. Um, I think we spoke um, after Christmas, sort of into the new year, about having sort of a 20 or so game season for us now, which it feels like after obviously the positive news of coming out of the embargo and the takeover. So, perfect way to sort of start that little mini sort of league, if you like, for us. Um, but it's only two games at the end of the day, isn't it? and things can turn around very quickly, especially when they're Saturday, Tuesday, which hopefully they are. Um, so yeah, it's been good, but it's um, by no means nothing successful or anything like that yet. Yeah, the winner Eastleigh on Saturday it was a really good performance, wasn't it? And that goal for you is getting closer and closer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. First of all, it's a really, really good win. Um, they got really good threats at the end of the day. That front three. Uh, a very good front three um, and you have to deal with deal with that in the, this league you know each team have got their own threats and Eastley certainly do especially with obviously McCallum scoring the amount of goals he has so that was really pleasing from um, the team perspective I think as well to get a clean sheet against them um, and most importantly get the three points and yeah it's getting closer it's getting closer but um, you know like I said I think the team's more important would have made it a little bit easier I think for the team and fans had I scored that one but like I said, I think 1-0 sounds better as a defender. <laughs> it's been a bitterly cold week, hasn't it, with the match on Tuesday postponed. Um, what's it like playing and training in such cold weather? Yeah, it's uh, dropped dramatically, isn't it? So um, it's a little bit annoying because you don't want the games to be postponed and then it all stacks up and you you are literally Saturday, Tuesday to the end of the season, which I do prefer, but um, I don't like postponements because it does disrupt things. Um, so we've just been astro. We have managed to train every day, um, which has been good so far. Um, and hopefully we can get Saturday on. Yeah, and just on, on training as well with a couple of new, new faces in the building, is it quite strange to have like a really good size sort of training group? Yeah, it's quite nice actually. Um, we can sort of do a little bit more shape, sort of almost 10v10, which is kind of un- unbelievable. Um, so no, it is really good and it freshens things up and I think competition for places is always a good thing and I think that drives standards. So when you've got that competition for places, you know, driving standards, things like that, you can it can only be a good thing. Um, so it's, uh, it's nice to have some new faces in um, and it's only going to help us in the long run. Yeah, and just turning attentions to Saturday against Altrincham, um, a team in fifth, um, in those playoff positions so it's an important one isn't it to try and get those wins over those sort of teams yeah they're a really good team um, we were just talking about that. I think they're one of the best we've come up against this season um, I don't think we were at our best at all that day but they are a really good team and they've got threats like I said every team has their own threats and they're a completely different team to Eastleigh they'll have different threats um, so I'm sure we'll work on that today and tomorrow um, and have a game plan um, so yeah, it'll be another tough game, but like we said, if we want to really push for them playoffs, I think these are the games that we really need to to win. Almost, I know we're not really that close in the table, but it is almost like six pointers. Um, if we can get three points close to them, um, it, it makes a big difference. Um, so, and if we can carry on that momentum, like you said, winning two, then becomes three, four, and etc. Um, it's a it's a funny game football. So who knows. They are a good side, Altrincham. They've been a, a side that South End have found difficult to, to break down over the last couple of seasons. Yeah, they they are a very good side. I think they coach very well. You know, the way they play football is is very good. Um, they've got obviously a, a very big threat in their number ten in Con Clark. Um, but like we said, we'll have our own game plan, and I think if we can execute our own game plan, we will be able to break them down and sort of get on to impose our game if you like on them um, so I think it's about us it's not about them um, especially at home I feel like when we're at home we can beat anyone which we've proven this this, league, this year If someone had offered you the, the clean sheet or the, the goal last Saturday which would you have taken? The clean sheet I would have taken the clean sheet but it is annoying because I, uh, <coughs> I haven't heard the end of it this week from everyone <laughs> but no listen like, like I said three points is the main thing clean sheet is 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 my job at the end of the day and if I can, can do that and then I want to add goals you know we do as um, defenders we want to help out the strikers sort of take the weight off um, so hopefully that is soon um, but like I said yeah the, I would have taken the clean sheet Yeah, and perhaps the scoreline wasn't reflective of, of the game and, and the way in which 
the, the side dominated but at the end of the day the results are the most important things for the side as much as you want those performances and those chances to be taken. Yeah, it's quite funny. I was speaking to someone yesterday and I don't, I can't really remember the last time we didn't play well and won. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's something we do need to add to our game when we don't play well necessarily. We, we need to add that sort of steeliness to our game. But like you said, I don't think that reflected the performance. Um, I feel like this season, this year, sorry, in 2024, we started off with two really good performances. Um, and like that could be down to a few things. Maybe the positive news and just the buzz around the place. Um, but also the fresh faces, like I said, competition for places, boys now know, not that they didn't before, but obviously now there is someone waiting to take your shirt and you know, you've got to hold on to that shirt um, as much as you can. So it's, it's, it's a good start, like I said, and I think performances have been good. Um, and hopefully, we have, listen, we haven't always taken the three points when we played well, so if we can do the opposite sometimes, that'll be a good good thing but obviously if you can marry the performance and the result it's perfect. And you mentioned that competition for places did it feel like things have stepped up a bit in training and in, on match days because of because of that competition? Yeah I think naturally it does I just think um, it, that is football at the end of the day when you know someone is there trying to take your place um, you know things are going to sort of step up and <clears throat> you know deep down in yourself if you don't perform or you don't sort of ask what the man do what the manager's going to do. You know um, there is someone there that will. So I think naturally, yeah, it does. Um, training is better because we've just got more numbers as well. So it automatically makes things easier, better, enables the staff to be able to do more. Um, try different sort of people in different positions, different relationships. So I feel like now with the signings we have made, we can adjust things quite a lot. Um, we boys are quite versatile, which I think. We've proven over the last six months, which we've had to. Um, so you know, the managers now got to got to make them decisions.